Hey everyone, Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts here. Today I want to show you how to do a simple amigurumi invisible decrease. This is a super useful technique to learn because it can really hide your decreases instead of having bulky single crochet two togethers, which is the standard decrease we do in single crochet. So here I have the body of an amigurumi pig. This pattern will be on my website soon and on YouTube as a tutorial. Once it's up, I will put the link in the cards and in the description so you can get this pattern. But this technique can be used on something like this. It can be used on any amigurumi, any animal, doll. It really doesn't matter what you're using it on. You can easily replace a single crochet two together with an invisible decrease if the pattern doesn't call for it. So let's learn how to do this. It's really simple. You're going to begin by inserting your hook in the front loop only of a stitch, just like that. And then we're not going to yarn over, but we're just going to insert our hook into the front loop of the next stitch as well. So we have two front loops on our hook. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to combine both of the stitches in a much less bulky way. So now I'm going to yarn over and pull my hook through both of those loops. And now we have two loops on our hook to complete a single crochet. So just yarn over and pull through. Now the next stitch you would go in would be this one right here because we went in the front loop right here. So this is the next one. You're just gonna wanna tighten that loop a little bit so it's not bigger than the rest. And there's my regular single crochet. So you can see, Here's the invisible decrease. Here's a regular single crochet. Much, much less conspicuous than a single crochet two together, which looks like this. And we end up with three loops on our hook. And you can see after I do it, there's the single crochet two together. Much more bulky than this. And it doesn't even look like a regular single crochet stitch. So let's do that again. So here is my first stitch. We'll go a little slower this time. And here is my second stitch. We're going to combine both of these. But instead, we're not going to insert our hook into the whole thing. We're just going to go into this front loop right here. Okay, now pull this loop a little tight. You don't want it to be super loose. Now, kind of bring the loop back on your hook. And then it'll slide forward a little bit when you go to insert into the next front loop. So let's look at that again. We have the first one on our hook. And then we're just going to insert into the next one. Again, not the full stitch, just this front loop right here. Yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then for our next stitch, we already worked into the front loop of this stitch. You can see because it's kind of pulling towards the stitch we just made. So the next one to go in is this one right here. And this is where it can get too loose if you don't tighten this loop. See how if I pull this up, that stitch is going to be too loose. So after making an invisible decrease, you just want to tighten everything up a little bit on the next stitch. So when you insert, just kind of tug this. To tighten that around the hook and then make your stitch and now we have a stitch that is at, the, at a good tension with the rest of our stitches and we can just continue making regular single crochet until the pattern calls for a decrease and then we can repeat again front loop again tighten this first one next front loop yarn over pull through both, yarn over, pull through two, and here's our next stitch here. And you can do two invisible decreases right after each other. You just again want to tighten everything up so it doesn't leave any holes. And then if I did a regular single crochet, here's our two invisible ones, and here's our regular single crochet. So it's very easy to do. And the only downside is it's so invisible, it can be a little bit hard to tell where your decreases are, like if you mess up and you have to go back or take out a row or something. But the way I can see it is you can kind of see 
right here where the invisible decrease was. So this is normal, 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 and this is the decrease right here. So you can kind of see, if you look very closely, that the stitch looks a little bit different right here. And that's where we brought those two loops together, the two front loops of the stitch. But when you're back like this, you can't tell at all versus a single crochet two together, which leaves holes and looks more bulky. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. You can use the invisible decrease on all your amigurumi projects and it will completely transform them. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I am doing a series with at least 12 amigurumi projects, lots of different animals. They're super cute. So I hope you will check out those videos. The, the ones that are published will be in a playlist, which I will link below. If there aren't very many out now, they will be out eventually. So once this video is older, you'll be able to check out all of them down below. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!